guys, happy Wednesday. I am eating some peanut butter toast on whole grain toast with bananas and I'm eating it at home because I don't have to go into work until nine today, which is really nice. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we gotta go to work. I'm wearing this new necklace. This is from Love Tala. I don't know if you remember, but they do fingerprint jewelry. So I ordered a few more of their pieces for myself and for my mom it was supposed to be for mother's day but it's a little bit late it's okay so i ordered this wishbone for her and i'm also wearing this one for myself it's like a little spiky thing and then this chain has like diamonds on this side and then it's like a gold chain on this side so you can wear it like however you want so i have these two for her i'm going to give them to her today i'm defrosting some ground beef because i'm going to make some tacos tonight I've only been drinking like up to this indentation here most days. So I really need to make it a goal to finish this water because this is not even that much water for a whole day. I'm so bad. So I'm gonna make that my goal. Maybe I'll do it for like a June goal, like a whole monthly goal to drink this whole thing every day. I thought it would be easy, but it's not. Part of me wishes that we had like different colored scrubs because I don't know if I like wearing black every day but then when I go to the office and I see all of us wearing black it's just so aesthetic and so like on point and like it's a vibe and I'm sure if you're a nurse or you work in the healthcare field and you wear scrubs I don't know if you feel the same way or if you like wearing the same color like if your office requires you to wear a certain color you like that or if you wish you could like wear all the colors I don't know it's like a love-hate thing It's 12.22, I got Cuban food, so I'm really happy. I just got chicken, rice, beans, plantains, the whole shebang. And I'm a little irritated because look, I straightened my hair and then it just like gets wavy because of the humidity, it's just not fun. So far, so good, just a typical work day, getting stuff done. I'm still training the summer intern. I'm hoping I can get off a little bit early today at like three, that's the plan because I have a lot to do. I wanna work out and tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day because tomorrow we work 10 to seven. So that's gonna be busy. And then Friday, it's like we have the most patients we've ever had in one day. And then Friday night I have the Romanian convention, which I think I'll probably include that in another video. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go inside, eat lunch, finish the day. So here's the goods. I got my mom the same thing. And I got you a present. Me? Yeah. What's the occasion? Mother's Day. Delayed. Oh, cute. A little horseshoe. Does it mean good luck? I don't know. It does mean good luck There's in There's something Romanian. in the back too. Oh, this small. It's gorgeous. Wow. Thank you, baby. This one has diamonds. Real diamonds? No. <laughs> and it's gold. My yeah. new color. Mm -hmm. Love it. Thank you, baby. You're welcome too. Now I can layer them. Yeah, exactly. Which is what I want to do. That's the point. Oh, okay. You can even keep that one on too. Yes, exactly. That's fantastic. I wish I didn't have my winter jacket on for this <laughs> segment. <laughs> for it's this always segment. cold. The camera's still on me. <laughs> yeah. So how do you like it here, Rachel? <laughs> it's good. What do you like about working here, Rachel? I like the medical part. You do? Mm hmm Even though you've never been medical growing up. I don't like the surgeries. You don't? No. Do you dislike the They're surgeries? Gross. Yeah. I like the cosmetics. You don't like the blood and the no. cutting and the... I was almost like gonna gag <laughs> when we were doing the surgery earlier. I was like... That was a pretty nasty one. I give you that. But you don't see yourself like operating? No. work and the gym so after work I went straight to the gym I was supposed to get off at 3 but I had to stay till 3 30 so I was a little bit flustered so I went straight to the gym worked it off we went for a walk it was nice we did shoulders today and now we are home 
Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, now that I have a minute to calm down and breathe and talk to you guys, I want to talk to you about this super cool custom prescription company that is working with me in today's video, and they're called Roderm. What you do is you do an online visit, and you talk about what you're looking for in your skincare, whether it's fine lines and wrinkles, acne, brown spots, whatever you're dealing with. You take the quiz, you put in your information, they ask you some questions to get to know you and your needs, and then they send you a custom prescription, and I did it and I'm so happy with what they sent me. You guys know my mom is a dermatologist and I'm very into skincare and I'm very picky with what I put on my face. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that they prescribed me tretinoin and nias niacinamide. I hope I'm saying that correctly. You guys know I already use tretinoin and this is a 0.06 strength which is a pretty high strength. So I'm really impressed that with the information I gave them that they were able to prescribe me something that I already am using and it's really cool because you can do it from the comfort of your own home. With all the social media and everything out there, it can be really confusing to know what to put on your face. And instead of going to the drugstore and picking up some expensive serum or unknown product, why don't you just use Roderm and get like a medicated product? If you listen to my podcast with my mom, about skincare. So we talked about this concept on the podcast of if you're going to spend your money somewhere, you might as well get a medication that's prescribed to you and that you know for sure is going to do something versus like an expensive cream or serum that normally doesn't do much. So like I said, you take the quiz, you tell them what you're concerned about and some general medical history like activity level. The visit is free and if appropriate, a US licensed healthcare professional will prescribe you a custom prescription made with a blend of dermatologist selected ingredients that is tailored to your needs. Right now, new members will receive a 30-day trial of a custom RX treatment plus Roderm's hydrating cleanser and protecting SPF lotion for just $5 when you go to roderm.com forward slash Rachel. Shipping is free and you'll get unlimited follow-ups with your healthcare provider to support you throughout your skincare journey. If you're prescribed, get your first month of custom RX treatment plus Roderm's hydrating cleanser and protecting SPF lotion for $5. Go to roderm.com forward slash Rachel. Once again, that's roderm.com forward slash Rachel. Okay, I came outside to check up on my stain. So, if you don't know, we built a pergola and we're in the process of waiting for the wood to dry. And as you can see, this is like really yellow. I tried to stain it walnut. This one looks a little bit better, but it's still kind of faded out. So I'm wondering like even when it does dry out to this level, if I'll need to do two coats and then seal it. I'm not really sure. If you guys have any staining tips, let me know. But I'm so excited to get this finished. I think AJ's gonna do the border. Like he has to finish this strip obviously, and then he's gonna put these planks on the sides too. So it'll be like nice and clean. I'll stain it, I need to get furniture. But I don't wanna get the furniture until we get the roof because we're putting like a metal cover over the this to protect from the rain but I don't want to get the furniture before we get the cover because then it'll just get really dirty but I love it thumbnail I don't have any packages to unbox nothing from Amazon unfortunately oh this is so dirty ignore that I'm just like waiting for a reasonable time to start making dinner it's 4 55 and I feel like I have to wait till 5 p.m. I don't know is that just me like I feel like you can't start making dinner if it's still in the fours like four o'clock Whatever, who cares? Live your life, man. We were supposed to do legs today at the gym and then we didn't because it was taken because we got there later. Because if you don't get to the gym by 3.15, it gets so busy. So I was kind of flustered. Um, that's why I didn't talk to you guys before the gym, but look at AJ's little pill things. How cool is this? Let me actually show you his thing. So I got this for him off of Amazon. It's a pill sorter and it has every day of the week and it has like a morning one and a night one and then you just put your pills in there. Like how cool is that? So he takes creatine and then he takes fish oil and so this is the, why am I telling you his supplements? He's probably so irritated at this, but I'm sh okay. So he takes creatine and then he takes fish oil and a multivitamin, so that's what that is. He's like so good about his vitamins. I need to be more like him. <sighs> I'm just wearing my Amazon shorts, by the way. I always get questions on these, so I'll link them. They're so good. They're only 20 bucks and they're amazing. They're so high-waisted. I'm in a medium. They're so good. And the scrubs that I wear are the same pair. I only have one pair of scrubs, like I said earlier. They're Mandela brand. I link, I've been linking them in all my recent work vlogs. Yeah. 
So while I wait for a reasonable time to cook dinner, I'm going to do some emails, like some YouTube emails and stuff and just like check up on that side of my life because ever since working for my mom, I work more hours. You guys may know that I used to work eight to three for my dad and now I'm working um, basically nine to five, give or take here and there. It's really just dependent on the day, but I feel like I'm really still trying to adapt to this new schedule. So yeah, I don't know if that made sense. A lot of questions on if I've made a decision, what I'm gonna be doing long-term. I'm sure you guys are really confused. I'm really confused. Uh, but no, seriously, I I don't know. So I am leaning towards um, staying with my mom. Not necessarily as a receptionist. That's not my goal. It's not my long-term dream. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't see myself in that position forever. So I'm thinking that once we find a permanent replacement for a reception, like find a good fit long-term, I can reevaluate and see like what I want to do for my mom. We're thinking, we were talking today actually at lunch to be a little bit more creative. Maybe I'll do more YouTube videos for her. If you don't know, she has a channel. I used to make videos for her, but with everything we kind of stopped. So I could do like a video for her a week and like help her with social media and marketing. I love like marketing and I love the cosmetics and like the lasers. It's just so much fun. So we're thinking that once we find someone permanent for the position that I'm in, we can then brainstorm what I'm going to do for my mom, probably going to be something creative and it's probably going to be less hours. So I was thinking a few days a week maybe like to go in, like let's say I would go in Monday, Tuesday, half day, Wednesday, and then I would have a full day Thursday, full day Friday, and the weekend for YouTube. And it would just be like the perfect shebang, you know what I mean? But nothing is settled. There's still part of me that wants to go back to my dad's and there's still like that in the mix. So keep you posted. As soon as I know, you'll know. But yeah, I'm still keeping up with emails from my dads, but I really can't do much because when I'm at my mom's guys, the phones are ringing, patients are coming in, I'm helping in the back. Like there's, I literally can't do both. Other people at my dad's have taken over my work, which is so good. Like I'm so glad that, that has been able to happen. Otherwise it would have been chaos. You know what I mean? I hope that made sense. Okay, so super simple dinner tonight, just ground beef with taco seasoning. You saw I used the pre-made tomatoes and onions, no shame, and then I made some quick guac. So good, so easy. What do you think, Vinny? What do you think? <laughs> AJ's taking a practice exam, but I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna eat. Yummy. showered I'm putting on my road room prescription and you always want to put your prescribed medications on first and then if you have like lotions or serums that goes on second I'm just going on top of the tretinoin and the niacinamide with lotion to kind of like lock in the moisture and that's it super simple super effective we love that for me okay we just got frozen yogurt i went original tart that's what i always do and i got strawberries and mango and i got some like granola or graham cracker dust aj went chocolate crazy and i think i'm gonna do chocolate next time because it's pretty good we're about to watch Ozark. I think we're almost done with season two and it's pretty good. So that's what we've been doing that night recently. You want some? I want to try to get her some cat safe milk because I know cats can't just drink any kind of milk. It'd be considered a treat for her. A healthy, healthier than temptations, that's for sure. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I'm about to go to work. I did my hair differently today. So I did like a double, a double pony, you see? Can you see that? Can you see that? So I tied like the first half of my hair up and then I put like a double pony. 
I don't know. I just, can you see that? I don't know. I was just running out of ideas on how to style my hair at this length. So yeah, whatever. But yeah, I'm about to go to work. It's Thursday. I don't have to go until 10, but it's 9.50, so I really need to go. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick little work day in my life. I'm going to be filming um, tomorrow and the weekend. It's going to be a fun weekend, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out Roderm for your custom prescription. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I have a podcast if you didn't know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.